Okay, now I've got a nice little piece of track here, so uh, this is a good opportunity to do this bit. In the last few videos, a few of you uh, wanted to know how to do ballasting, so uh, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it. It's very easy, very basic, very simple, but it is also very easy to get wrong. You have to be nice and careful and take your time with it. So uh, I'll just quickly show you how I do it on this small little section of track here. I'm only going to ballast about five or six sleepers, but it will give you the method that you can then apply to the whole of the entire layout. I'll just mix up a batch of glue and we'll get going. And the glue is quite important to get right. You want about a 50-50 mix of PVA glue and water. So uh, I use this old Mr. Sheen squeezy bottle to keep my water. Just add a bit of that. And then you just want to use any normal PVA glue that you can get your hands on. I use, uh, uh, what is this? This is Wix wood adhesive because it's really cheap and you get loads of it, so it's quite a good one to get. There you go. Nice blob of glue in there. You want the same amount roughly as the water. That's pretty much the same. And then the final thing that you need to do is just add a little bit of washing up liquid to the mix. You really don't need very much. Just a tiny bit. There we go. That's probably a little bit too much to be honest, but it doesn't matter. Right, okay. This is the ballast I use. This is a Woodland Scenics uh, double O gauge medium blend of ballast. It's a mixture of almost white ballast and light grey. And it's a great sort of realistic combination that can be weathered later on, which is what I'll do when I've finished all the ballasting on the layout. So it's good stuff. You can pick a, a nice big bag up in Hobbycraft for about £10. That seems like quite a lot of money to spend on ballast, but if I zoom out, it's difficult to see. But if you look at where the, uh, the junction is there, one bag will get you all those tracks from there to about here. So that's a good one, two, three, four, five, six, about six or seven tracks and about two meters each, maybe you know, three meters each. And that's what one bag will do. So it's not bad. I've bought about two or three bags so far to do the whole of the layout from uh, that side all the way around the other side. You want to get a little bit of the ballast onto the track. Not too much, just enough. Now this is where a lot of people can get ballasting wrong. This is the main area you want to be careful of. You want to make sure this is nice and evenly spread across the track. You don't want any ballast on top of the sleepers unless you're planning on doing a disused uh, siding or disused bit of main line. But Generally, ballast doesn't really go over the sleepers because then it gets in the way of wheels. So you want to make it spread nicely all the way along. And take your time with this. This takes quite a while, even for a small area like this, to get just right. There you go. That's basically what you're looking for. Nothing too fancy, but as long as the track is clearly visible and there's no ugly lumps and bumps or too much ballast on one side or you know big blobs of it all over the place, you'll end up with a nice good finish. It's just important to spread it evenly so it keeps looking the same all the way along. So uh, now we get round to applying the glue which is the last stage in ballasting. Right, now you've got to get the ballast wet. I use this old Mr Muscle bottle and that's just full of ordinary tap water. You don't need anything special for this bit, just ordinary tap water will do. And then just give a nice squirt over your ballasted area. There we go. That's now nice and wet. Leave it for a few seconds just to get it you know, soaked in, looking nice. And double check the ballasted area, check there's nothing you know, nasty in the way or any bits of ballast that have moved as a result of you spraying the water. Let's have a look. No, that's okay. It's all fine. The shiny bits you can see on the camera are just water on the sleepers. They're not actually pieces of ballast. Now you take your gluey mixture and you want a syringe of some sort. I use this little one which I also got from Hobbycraft. Just put it out like that, push it down, and the stuff comes out the end. So you want to get a nice good syringe load of uh, glue as you ballast. And then just, there you go. And you see because we got it wet, it's all soaking in nicely. You want to get it nice and saturated, about that much will do. Then come across this side. 
Don't worry about getting glue on the rails at this point because you can scrape it off with a track rubber or something similar later on at the end. And the washing up liquid you added into the, uh, the mix will also allow the uh, glue to penetrate all the way to the bottom of the ballast and it will soak all the way through very nicely. So now just leave it, don't touch it at all. You want to leave it for probably a good 24 hours to dry hard. So there you go. I hope the video has helped you and uh, confirmed any questions that you may have for me. So uh, that's it really. So uh, bye for now.